The next slide uh, contains an organism similar to the Imeria uh, that we saw previously, and um, this organism is uh, is Isosporus suis, uh, and this particular parasite infects uh, the location which is more traditional for the Isospora and Imeria species, uh, that being the small intestine. This ha uh, Isosporus suis infects the uh, small intestines of, of uh, pigs, particularly pre-wingling pigs. And at the end of the pointer, you can see the uh, serosal side of this intestine. As we move in, you can start to see the, the villi that are um, so typically characteristic of the uh, small intestine. One thing you may notice as, as, uh, as we look around is the fact that the cells that line the the deeper part of the mucosa generally look more normal, whereas the tips of the villi tend to look vacuolated because of the, of the presence of the infections. That's illustrated quite nicely here uh, where the, the cells um, appear red and, and uh, normal, and as they go out, they appear vacuolated and, and, uh, and abnormal. best place to uh, look for the uh, various developmental stages it tends to be kind of in the, the junction where uh, in between where the, 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 norm the cells are primarily normal and uh, the area where at the tip they, they become hi highly vacuolated. The reason that they appear um, so so holy here is, is the fact that the uh, developmental stages have, have ruptured out, either spilling merozoites or oocysts from those areas, and so you won't find them along there. One thing I need to caution you about is uh, the, that uh, many of the, the villi contain goblet cells, and these goblet cells appear also like uh, holes, only if you look at them more closely, uh, you'll notice that they 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 do in fact have stuff in them, and what they do have in them is is a mucus that is uh, secreted into the lumen, and so don't confuse the the normal goblet cells uh, from the inf uh, the remnants of intestinal cells that have have been damaged because of the the parasite. We're going to go down higher magnification in this junction area and look at some of the developmental stages present there. This particular slide does show um, schizonts, and you can recognize the schizonts most easily once they're fully developed uh, because of the, the, the appearance of the merozoites, uh, which are, are still present in many of them. And they will take on a football or a spindle shape with a nucleus in the center. And if you focus back and forth in your slides, you'll, you'll be able to, to pick up of those. Um, and and that is in contrast with the um, the macrogametocytes, which which appear a little bit uh, darker in this particular slide, and uh, a little and because of that, a little more difficult to um, to identify. Um, if we kind of go out towards the end, we can see a couple over here. They will also have kind of fluorescent vesicles along the outside, uh, which doesn't appear very well in, in this particular uh, set of individuals. And uh, also appearing quite dark are the microgametocytes. The main difference between the, the two is the presence of, of these uh, numerous uh, nuclei associated with the, the microgametes that are present in the the microgametocyte, whereas the um, macrogametocyte has has these vesicles that are th that um, also stain. Here's a here's a younger macrogametocyte here, uh, right next to a microgametocyte. Now at this magnification, you, uh, again you can you should be able to differentiate those from the goblet cells that are, that are present. And then most of the rest of the cells that you're seeing 
along here are simply uninfected uh, enterocytes. Now you won't be able to recognize e each and every um, cells or, or infected cells. Uh, this, for example, is a, is a immature stage and it, at this point it would not be possible to differentiate it uh, in terms of its uh, developmental stage. So don't worry about each and every one, but you should be able to recognize the obvious ones. 